Welcome to Inside Science TV. They are bright, colorful, and dying. Coral reefs are home to millions of species. Coral reefs are often thought of as the rainforests of the sea. Corals provide food to ocean life, promise new medicines, and protect some beach communities from storms. But we've lost over 20% of the world's reefs in the last 20 years. We risk losing the most biodiverse ecosystem on the planet. Climate change and soil runoff have disrupted this ecosystem. Coral has a symbiotic or interdependent relationship with algae that's usually beneficial. Now, scientists have learned that too much algae in warm water can be a bad thing. Those corals actually expel those algae, causing them to turn white. This effect, called bleaching, can be deadly. Some algae protects the coral, but too much produces toxins. The coral's best defense is to get rid of the algae. What actually causes corals to bleach is a disruption of the photosynthesis that takes place in the algae. Scientists use a new test to count the algae in coral. It helps identify which corals are most at risk. Certain coral may be more susceptible to bleaching. The key is treating wastewater and minimizing polluted runoff. Minimizing certain stressors that increase the number of algae in corals, we can actually help them be less susceptible to bleaching. And help them survive and thrive through the century. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.